Morning, everybody. I'm glad you're up and awake and ready to watch a video. Um, my wife is busy running a big meeting today, so she couldn't be on the video with me, which is too bad because I think she's a much better actor than I am. But um, I just thought we might talk a little bit about gifts. Now, of course, we've just gotten through Christmas, and Christmas is a time of gifts and things that are given and received, and it's really a wonderful time. Um, but also, there's another way to look at it. At Christmas, God gives us the gift of his son, Jesus Christ. Born on Christmas morning, a gift to the world that is amazing because God so loved the world that he gave his son to us, who came and taught us and was with us, and watched over us and laid his life down for us. His life is a gift to us. And it's a gift that we live with every day. And it's a wonderful gift. But also, um, this is right now the, the season of epiphany. I don't know if anybody knows what that word means, but it really means just seeing something for the first time or being revealed. And so also, this is a time when we reveal or we see the gifts that are given in so many ways. And one of those gifts, I would say, is you, every one of you, to your families. God gives gifts through children and babies to families. So each one of you watching this video is a gift, a gift to the world, a gift to your family, a gift to your community, a gift to people you meet. So we need to live our lives realizing that God has given every one of us as a gift. That's part of seeing new and seeing ourselves anew. And then to each one of us <clears throat> are given different and wonderful gifts. Um, maybe one is being able to play uh, an instrument. Maybe another gift is a lot of energy. Oh, I bet you, you guys have a lot of energy. And energy is really, really important. And another gift that we celebrate often in the Presbyterian Church is intelligence. And I've met some of you at least, and you're all very, very intelligent, very smart. And that's another gift. Imagination is another wonderful gift that each one of us has, and we can imagine that the world could be a better place and we could try to make it a better place. We could work at that. That's part of what we've been called to do and part of taking the gifts that God has given us. You can see behind me in the picture there, that is Harriet Tubman, who had the gift of helping people who were enslaved find freedom. And you can see on the wall behind me are many masks that my wife and I have collected from around the world, and they're super cool, and those are gifts too. But energy, imagination, intelligence, and then the greatest gift that God gives all of us is love. And that's a beautiful and an incredible and an important gift that we then can give away to others. God has filled this world with the possibility of love. And each one of us has been given that gift. And I want you to think about that gift for your life. And then there are other gifts too, like today, this is Saturday that I'm doing this uh, video. Outside, it's absolutely beautiful today. The sun's shining, the sky is blue. We live right next to the Brandywine River and the ice that was on the river is beginning to break up. And the ducks and the geese are so happy that there isn't ice on the river anymore. But it's very funny when there is ice because you should watch the ducks and the geese come into land and they hit the river and they just slide all along. And maybe sometimes that's also a gift that winter brings, which is the ability to go ice skating on lakes or ponds or at the ice skating rink in the cold weather. So there are a lot of gifts that are given isn't just gifts that we share on Christmas Day. Of course, we share those because God gave us Jesus. But Jesus then gives us all different sorts of wonderful, wonderful gifts 
that we can share with each other and we can change the world. Harriet Tubman changed the world by helping people who were in slavery become free. We can change the world by trying to help every single person realize how valuable they are, that they are a gift from God, and helping every person be able to be welcomed into the world in which we live. Jesus spoke with people and he said how important it is to know when somebody is naked to give them clothing, when somebody is hungry to give them food, when somebody is by themselves, maybe at home or in prison to visit them, when somebody is thirsty to give them drink. Jesus said this is what we're called to do and we have the gifts to do all of it. So I challenge you to take those gifts and give them out into the world in which we live. Let us pray. Oh God, we ask that the gifts that you've given us, we may be able to share them with others as so many before us has done and so many after us will. But God, you have richly blessed us with all different sorts of gifts. And some of them are energy, intelligence, imagination, and the greatest is love. And help us bring the good news of the love that Jesus has for each one of us and the love that you have given us out to the world around us. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a very wonderful week. And um, I will see you next week. Hopefully Sunday school will be opening up again soon with the Omicron virus coming to an end, it looks like maybe. And I hope school is going well. God bless every one of you. Bye-bye.